Imagine seeing Walmart Lizzo squeezing her Walmart Lizzo way down the aisle. Your brain yelling, Jesus, not me! Only to have her park that bread basket on your shoulder. Time to play Ratchet Pac-Man. <laughs> anyway, I think- <laughs> You asked for it and he has returned, offending everybody. Shout out to boy, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you coming on the last video. This is f flying poor, be like. I remember these days, type of shit, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. Talk to me. Being poor sucks and nothing will deep like poverty. Pressing his lips against you saying, give me everything you got. Recently, I made the mistake of booking a Spirit Airlines ticket oh. thinking, how bad can a three hour flight be? Sp Man, I, yo, you know what? I, I, I fed up doing that shit. My first spirit flight, I flew from Atlanta to LA. That flight, I don't know how long that flight was, but it was probably the longest flight of my life, bruh. That was terrible. Now, I'm not saying don't fly spirit, but I feel like if you fly spirit, fly first class spirit. Flying regular spirit feels like, oh my God, it feels like you riding the city bus. I swear to God. Spoiler alert, terrible. I should have known they were the special needs airline by that short yellow. Oh my god. Bus they're driving. Even before. My oh. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> my flight, I was angry. I'm trying to use the app to check in my bag and it keeps popping up with processing air. I'm like, of course the app doesn't work. The flight was $70. What was I expecting? When I arrived at the airport, there were only four terminals to check in your bag, but only one of them was working. Two were out of order, and one was just for international. Oh, that international one was such a cock tease. People kept walking up, thinking they were about to skip the line, only to be told, foreign bitches only. Then after waiting 25 minutes, I begin to get anxious. I'm looking at the five people ahead of me, like, I hope you Pop-Tarts know how to work a touch screen. Eventually, I get to the front and realize it's a $100 to check in a bag. Keep in mind, it's only $70 on the app, but at this point- God damn! I had no choice but to accept the corporate D and pay an extra 30 bucks. Mm, this is for you, corporate daddy. Then I get to security and I'm doing that toe tapping of, come on, come on. Eventually I get to the tiny dick detector and they stop. Tiny dick detector. Me saying, sir, do you have anything on your leg? I'm like, yeah, I got a knee brace on. They're like, you're gonna have to take that off. I'm like, no problem, but I can't walk without it. They're like, sure you can. And I'm looking at the guy saying, do you moonlight as an orthopedic surgeon? No? Now how are you gonna tell me I can't walk without this? He says, well, if you were disabled, you should have gone to the special needs line. And my response was, Cripple privilege? He said, no, that's not what I said. Cripple privilege! He rolls his eyes and says, just take a seat. As I'm waiting, a large black woman starts cutting lines saying she's gonna miss her flight. TSA's trying to calm her down and she's yelling, let me through! They ask what flight she's on and lucky- How did he draw her like that? Like, big back as fuck. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Come on, man. He drew her big back as hell. Me, it's the same as mine. Could you imagine seeing Walmart Lizzo squeezing her Walmart Lizzo way down the aisle? Your brain yelling, Jesus, not me! Only to have her park that bread basket on your shoulder. Time to play Ratchet Pac Man. <laughs> anyway, I think. <laughs> with security and get to my terminal and that's when the reality of where I was began to sink in. There was a man eating peanuts just discarding shells on the ground, kids uh, playing barefoot, a woman sleeping on three seats, and tons of sick people. Oh, Every 10 seconds no. I'd hear. <coughs> so eventually I board the plane and was greeted by the smell of poop. Flight attendants said they were having some sewage issues but should be resolved before departure. I'm thinking uh, should be, better be. Then I get to my seat, open up the overhead compartment to find a baby stroller that has liquid dripping from it. Is it milk, pee, splooge from a curious uncle? Who knows? Yeah. 
close. So I sit down and immediately realize the seats don't recline. I'm like, why would I want to fall asleep right now when I'm clearly in heaven? Eventually a cute girl comes over and sits next to me. Initially I was excited thinking I avoided the black hole, but then I know she was vibrating. I'm like, you good girl? She says, I just get really nervous on planes. I'm like, don't worry, flying is the safest way to travel. I mean, more people die from Advil than plane crashes, yet I'm never popping a bottle like, today's the day! Unfortunately, my rational thought did not pierce her emotional brain, oh, and during takeoff she starts clutching my hand, which would have been cute if she hadn't just touched her I'm getting over a cold nose, but at this point I take oh. an illness over ground zero of a panic attack. Some time passes and we start to experience turbulence, which causes the woman next- Boy, why is every- Bro, why does every fucking spirit flight got crazy turbulence, bro? It's like they take the fucking back route or something. It's, it's like, bro, I, I flew, when I flew from Atlanta to LA, crazy turbulence. On the way back, crazy turbulence. I'm like, dog, I've never had turbulence on the way there and back. On a fucking flight, get the fuck. I was like, yeah, nah. Hey, do you know 44% of y'all aren't subscribed? Go ahead and hit that button. And also go check out my gaming channel where I upload things like Spider-Man gameplay, Fortnite, Modern Warfare, older games, newer games, anything I can get my hands on, I'll play it. Go check it out. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the video, man. Next to me to start freaking out again. I'm trying to calm her down, only to have it ruined by the pilot. You see, a normal pilot would say, Hey folks, we're hitting some turbulence. Uh, make sure to keep your seatbelt fastened and we'll let you know when it's over. But this guy says, Ladies and gentlemen, we're hitting a little turbulence and uh, we're just trying to figure out what's going on. Woman's like, what? Oh, what the fuck? You, what the bitch? Ooh. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. You trying to figure out what's going on. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? If you don't fly this big hunk of motherfucker, what do you figure right? Figure it out. Boy, listen, man. What does he mean he doesn't know what's going on? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know what f***ing turbulence is. Now I'm beginning to tweak. Because it smells like poop, I keep hearing people coughing, and the woman next to me keeps orgasming every time there's a drop in air pressure. Ugh. Ugh. Eventually we land, and as I'm waiting to exit this death trap, a few passengers start chanting, Trump, Trump, Trump. I'm thinking, is someone wearing a pillowcase up front I'm not seeing? What Why is this fuck? turning into a rally? But luckily, like Epstein in prison, it quickly died off, and I was able to exit back to freedom. Now what, what? this experience has taught the me hell? is, we need to start treating pores like the cripples. If you're crippled at an airport, you treat it like a god. There's like a conveyor belt of middle-aged Haitian women ready to push your ass around. Sure, every <laughs> time you say hustle, sweet cheeks, a part of them dies, but like my mute girlfriend, they can't say no. And if anyone does... Serve special treatment, it's the pores. They don't know how to stand in line, clean up after themselves, or cover their mouths when they cough. You know why? Because they were born with a disability of not having money. So the next time you see a poor person at the airport, do the right thing and treat them like they're crippled. Get out of the way! I'm gonna be late! Please, miss, use our special line. <laughs> mm, you know what you wanna do? Oh, you wanna push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button. Yeah. This man got issues, bro. <laughs> this man got issues. Nah, W video though. This was hilarious. That was a good. That was that was that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>